Hello guys, very quickly we are going to be learning the joints of the upper limb. Now the question is, how many joints do we have in the upper limb? First, this is our lesson 3. Yeah, I've treated lesson 1 that has 2 videos as well as lesson 2. This is lesson 3. In the joints of the upper limb, you know normally they ask you what are the joints of the upper limb. The first thing that comes into your mind, eh, sir, excuse me, in the joints of the upper limb, they include the following. Number 1, shoulder joint. Number 2, elbow joint. <laughs> Number 3, wrist joint, right? And then you think that's oh, just the play. You think that these are the three joints of the upper limb. No try and I'm going to give you a total of 13 joints. How many 13? Hold on a bit. A complete series of classes in anatomy, all of them, physiology, all the physiology, biochemistry, all. They are available in the LearnLift app. So just head down to Play Store or App Store and type LearnLift, right? And then download the app. And you have access to all your classes and the continuation of this lesson you are watching right now. For the now, peace out. In the upper limb, right? Yeah, let's go together. You must know all of them. You know, one sweet thing about being a medical student is that you will not be forgiven for missing anything, right? Like, you just have to know everything. Because as you move, you are going to be using all of them. So now, what are the joints of the upper limb? Number one is called the sternoclavicular joint. What is it called? The sternoclavicular joint. I will show you all their locations, but know them first. Number two is called the acromioclavicular joint. Already by now, you should know where sternoclavicular joint is. You should know where acromioclavicular joint is. I've treated them in lesson two. Another important thing very fast is your glenohumeral joint. What is it called? Glenohumeral joint. In fact, your glenohumeral joint is the one you popularly call your shoulder joint. Uh -huh. Number four is called the elbow joint. What is it called? Elbow joint. Number five is called the radio ulnar joint. Radio ulnar joint. Number six is called the wrist joint. Wrist. Wrist joint. You watch this guy here is radio ulnar, but your wrist joint is also called radio carpal joint. In other words, the radius. Is making articulations with the carpal bones there. That's why you call it your what? Your radio carpal joint. And then number seven is the one you call your intercarpal joints. In between the carpal bones, the joints in between them is called the intercarpal joints. Don't worry, I will show you all. The next number eight is called your carpal metacarpal joints. What is it called? Carpal metacarpal lord joints. Ah, sir, these things are confusing. Let's look at one to seven again now quickly. Learn 1 to 7. 1 to go. What's number 1? Stenoclavicular joint. Come on, say it with me. Stenoclavicular joint. Stenoclavicular joint. Acromioclavicular joint. Acromioclavicular joint. Glenohumeral joint. Glenohumeral joint. God is it for me. Stenoclavicular joint. Stenoclavicular joint. Acromioclavicular joint. Acromioclavicular joint. Glenohumeral joint. Glenohumeral joint. Elbow joint. Come on, elbow joint. Radiona joint. Radiona joint. Wrist joint. Also called your radiocarpal joint. Then you have your intercarpal word joints. Don't stress. Let's go. Number eight is called capo metacarpal joints. Capo metacarpal joints. And then number nine is called your intermetacarpal joints. Intermetacarpal. Do you know why they call it capo metacarpal joints? Because it is found between the way the carpals and the metacarpals. Your intermetacarpal joint is found between in between the metacarpals. Are you getting it? And that's why we call it the intermetacarpal joints. And then number 10 is called the metacarpophalangeal what joints. Why do we call it your metacarpophalangeal joint? Because you see them between the metacarpals and the phalanx. Are you getting it? And so it is called the metacarpal what phalangeal joints. Call it 9 and 10 for me. What's it? Capo metacarpal joint. 9. Intermetacarpal joints. 10. Metacarpophalangeal joints. Number 11 is called the proximal interphalangeal joints i will show you all of these things so aside the proximal interphalangeal joints you have what is called the distal interphalangeal joints so there is proxima there is distal and then number 13 is the one we call your interphalangeal what joint what is it called interphalangeal joints if you get the whole of these 13 now the most important thing is your ability to know their locations where they are in details in this class so yeah, let's go. One to go. The first is called the sternoclavicular joint. Only you reason it now. Sternoclavicular. Between the sternum and the clavicle. And what's the sternum? The one in red you can see. That's the sternum, right? Also called the breastbone. So between the sternum and the clavicle, this location exactly. That's why we have the word the sternoclavicular joint. What is that joint called? The sternoclavicular joint. Will you feel it if you see it anywhere? Never, right? Okay, let's go. 
Aside the sternoclavicular joint, another joint is the acromioclavicular joint. Point for me, where will it be found? Acromioclavicular joint, of course, it will be found between the where the acromial end of the scapula connecting with the clavicle. Where the acromial end of the scapula and the clavicle they are connecting. Now, this location, follow me. This location in particular. That is called the what the acromioclavicular joint. But now look up. Oh, you know that this guy here, this bone here, is called the what the clavicle, right? That's the clavicle. This bone here, what is it called? This is your what your humerus, right? Oh yes. Now this is the acromial end of the what of the scapula connecting with the clavicle. Acromial end of the scapula. And the clavicle, which part of the clavicle is it the medial side of the clavicle or the lateral end of the clavicle? Of course, it is the lateral end of the clavicle that is connecting with it. And they will form the what? The acromioclavicular joint. Now, the question I want to ask you is this. Only you, eh, picture this diagram yourself. Look at this guy here. This bone here is the clavicle. If this is the clavicle, does clavicle itself come and make contact with the humerus? Clavicle does not have direct connection with the humerus. Do you understand it now? The one that have connection with your clavicle is the what? The acromial end of the scapula. That's how we call it the acromioclavicular joint. And you know, at the medial side, the clavicle is also going to connect with the what? The pressed bone or the sternum. And what do you call that? The sternoclavicular joint. So I've given you two joints. Sternoclavicular joints and the what? Acromioclavicular joint. If you get this very quickly, let's proceed. The next you must know very fast is the glenohumeral joint. What is it called? Glenohumeral joint. First, understand the name. Glino, right? That's the glenoid fossa. From where? The scapula. Oh, come now. This bone here. What is the name of this bone here? That's the scapula. What's the name of this bone here? This is the humerus. Which part of the scapula is coming to articulate with the head of the humerus? The humerus is the head of the humerus that is coming to articulate with the glenoid fossa. The glenoid fossa from the yes, scapula. That's why we call it the glenohumeral joint. Your glenohumeral joint is popularly known as your what's your shoulder joint. So here is your glenohumeral joint. This place exactly is your what's your glenohumeral joint. Again, what did we say? Clinohumeral joint is also called. It's also called your what? Your shoulder what joint. Another name for your shoulder joint is your what? Your glenohumeral joint. Does it make sense? After that, we also have what is called the elbow joint. Of course, without going far, this exactly is your what? Your elbow joint that you see there, right? Yes, no stress. Aside the elbow joint, another joint you must know is the radio ulna joint. Now, follow me from here. If here is your elbow joint, we also have your radio ulna joint where the radius and the ulna are going to be meeting. Radius and ulna, they meet in two different locations. So we have what is called the proximal radio ulna joint. Of course, your proximal radio ulna joint. And you can see it clearly from here. This here is your proximal radio ulna joint. It's different from your elbow joint. This here like this. That is exactly where you have your what? Your elbow joint. Your proximal radiona joint is different from your what your distal radiona joint. So radiona joint, there are two. What and what? The proximal radiona joint and the what? The distal radiona joint. Aside that, another joint is called your wrist joint. Your wrist, also called the what? The radiocarpal joint. Whether I call it wrist joint or radiocarpal joint, are they different? No, two of them are the same. Now follow me. From this diagram, you can see clearly, look at it now. Look at the joint that is being formed here. You see that it is not the um, ulna that is going to make articulation with the carpals there. Majorly, it is from the way the radius that is going to articulate with the carpals. And when that happens, the joint that is formed there is the what? The radiocarpal joint. Your radiocarpal joint is also called your what? Your wrist joint. And then... Another joint is called your intercapa joints. What is it called? Intercapa joints. Very quickly, when it comes to creating accounts, how do you create an account? Very easy. Let me give you the steps. First and foremost, you see create account and login. You only log in, right, when you already have an account. Since you don't have an account, click, click on create account. When you get there, put in your phone number. Put in your phone number. After putting in your phone number, you click on continue, right? 
your first name, of course, you put in your first name there. If your first name is James, you put in James as your first name. Your last name, if your last name is Victor, you put in what? Victor as your last name. Then you come to email address, right? Put in your email address there very quickly. James112 at gmail.com at gmail.com then your password right oh yes those of you that like if you want to use your name your password can just be like six digits right oh yes so let me say james 12 james 12 as the password right fill everything accurately and correctly james 12 don't jump any stage if not your account is not going to open for you select education under select education, of course, university. You click university. Leave secondary, primary, leave the others. Click university or tertiary. Click it. Come to select level. Under select level, you go and select your level. If it's 100 level, 200 level, of course, all these are the university classes. Click on 200 level and click on create accounts. Once you click on create account, what will happen? Your class will load straight and then your profile will be set up and then it will take you towards to class easy and direct so you see it this is how you create your account and then from here you can see that you have your anatomy here your upper limb your lower limb separately embryology histology systemic anatomy those ones are for nursing your cvs cardiovascular system your blood physiology excitable tissues systemic physiology intro to biochemistry your bio molecules bcm for nursing nursing psychology you have access to every single latin in the app now let me see what is in the app. Let's say, for example, upper limb. You click on the upper limb, right? You can see that you have your classes there already waiting for you. Overview of the upper limb, pectoral region, arm region, fork, arm, hand, all of them part by part. When I click on the overview of the upper limb, of course, I'll just match it straight to my class. Parts of the upper limb, one part of the upper limb, two bone of, bones of the upper limb, joints of the upper limb, muscles. You see, all your classes are there for you right okay let me say i want to start now and then i want to watch joints of the upper limb all you just need to do is click on that particular class that you want to watch joints of the upper limb and what will happen your class will load and your classes will start playing for you immediately so you see you may choose to say okay i want to rotate it right oh yes rotate it and you start following your classes immediately easy and direct you may choose to say okay you want to forward you want to pause you want to back and um, back forward anyone you want to do and you take it forward and what happened you can see all of them very very easy and the sweet part is that there are questions for you at the end of every class are you with me so that's for that and you may choose to go back and then go to the note section of the app oh yes when you get to the note section of the app of course the notes are there mm -hmm. well organized and arranged for you and you can zoom in and then start following back to back and you are following you may even choose to go and start answering questions questions are there for you and there are answers you start um following through every singular facet of it and you are learning on your own and there is cpt in the app as well for you a lot of other aspects that you can follow up all of this in the learn lift app same way you have for anatomy that's how you have for physiology that's how you have for biochemistry are you getting it now for the now bye bye the question you now ask yourself is sir where which one is the intercapa joints now follow me squarely you see all these guys here let me say all these guys here what do you call the rule of these bones here all of them are eight in number all those bones are called the kappa bones right the joints in between the kappa bones we call that joint what intercapa joints the joint in between the kappa bones, what do you call it? Intercapa joint. Oh, Sir Peter, can you start and give me all the names afresh? Now, follow me. Let's go. Which joint do we have here? This joint here is between the what? The clavicle and the sternum. What is it called? The sternoclavicular joint. Now, what about this guy here now? Acromioclavicular joint between the acromia end of the what? The scapula and the sternum. You form the what? Acromioclavicular joint. What about the joint that is formed? Between your um your head of femur and the glenoid cavity, what do you call that joint? It is called your glenohumeral joint, also called the what the shoulder joint. If you come down here, which joint do you have here? Elbow joint, right? Yes, aside the elbow joint, we have what is called the proximal what radio ulnar joint, 
and then we have what is called the distal regional joint. Aside the distal regional joint, what do we have next? We have what is called the wrist joint or the radiocarpal joint. Aside the wrist joint or the radiocarpal joint, in between the carpus, what do you call that joint? Intercarpal joint. Shade it makes sense. Uh -huh. Aside the intercarpal joint, we have what is called the carpometacarpal joint. Listen, understand the name. Capo metacapa. So the joint between the capas and the metacapas. Now, this is it. You know, these bones here, this one, two, three, four, five. These are the five carpal bones, right? The joint between the metacapas and the capas. What do you call it? These joints like this. So you are seeing it now. Between the metacapas and the capas, or the capas and the metacapas. Capas and the metacapas. That's why capas are coming first. That's why we call it the capo metacapa joint. Come again, Sir Peter. Let me understand. The joint between the capas and the metacapas. What do you call it? The capo metacapa joint. I will ask you all of them. Oh. Aside the capo metacapa joint, the next is called the intermetacapa joint. Of course, your, inter, your metacapas. Which joint do you have between the metacarpals? The joint that connects the metacarpals themselves. What do you call that joint that is connecting the metacarpals? It is called the intermetacarpal joint. Or is it called intermetacarpal joint? So we have what is called the intercarpal joint, the joint that have linked the inter and the carpals together. We have what is called the carpal metacarpal joint, the joint between the carpals and the metacarpals. We have what is called the intermetacarpal joint, the joint in between the what? The metacarpals. Outside that, Another joint you must know is the one we call the metacarpophalangeal joint. Sir, where is the metacarpophalangeal joint? Now, follow me squarely. You see, all these guys, look at it now. Metacarpals, this is metacarpals, 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 metacarpals. That's why they are ending, right? And then these guys are now the phalangeans, 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 phalangeans. So, which joint do you have these joints to be? This joint here, this joint. Look at it. When you look at your hand, Sure, you see this side here, yeah. all these all these guys that you are seeing here like this, all these ones, all these lines. What do you call these guys here? Yeah. They are called the what? The metacarpal phalangeal joint, the joint that you are seeing there. That's the what? The metacarpal what? Phalangeal joint. In fact, you can appreciate it more from the back of your hands. Sure, you see it now. This joint here, yeah. this joint here. Yeah. What do you call it? The metacarpal what? Phalangeal joint. Aside the metacarpal phalangeal joint, we have what is called the proximal interphalangeal joint. Ah, sir. Which one is the proximal interphalangeal joint? Now, aside the um, metacarpal phalangeal joint, now look at it now. How many other joints do we have? We have two other joints, right? And these two other joints, they are in the phalange, they are in the phalanx, right? Which are the phalanges? If these two joints like this that you can see here are in the phalanx, what do we call it? The first one, this guy here, is the proximal interphalangeal what joint? In other words, this guy here, like this, this guy is the what the proximal what interphalangeal joint. This guy, proximal interphalangeal joint. This guy's proximal, 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 proximal interphalangeal joint. Why those ones that are now far away? The last, last end, those joints here, those ones, those joints here. You know, some people that they have used bleaching cream to finish their self, their knuckle is now black, 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 black. <laughs> Just they play will let everything. Look at it now. All these joints, those small, small upper ones here. What do you call these guys here? They are called the word upper ones at the distal now. That's why we now have the distal words, interphalangeal words joints. Come again, sir. These joints here, all these ones that I'm touching, these ones now, what are they called? They are called the metacarpophalangeal joints. Aside the metacarpophalangeal joints, we have two other joints that we have to explain quickly. All these two joints here, these guys here, this ones here, right? That if you want knock person, now you did the knock person. Uh -huh. That's the proximal interphalangeal joint. Now you did the knock person. Show you the filler now. Why these other guys here now? All these ones like this that you can see. What are they called? The distal interphalangeal joints. Aside the distal interphalangeal joints, sir. What about the tongue? The tongue does not follow the rule where you have one, two, one, two, one, two. Joint them. The tongue only have one joint there. In the phalanx, what do you call that joint in the phalanx of the tongue? It is called the interphalangeal what joint. The joint that is in the tongue, just this guy alone like this, what do you call it? The interphalangeal what joint, which I did a knock person. That's the proximal interphalangeal joint. This one like this, what is it? The distal interphalangeal joint. What about these guys here? These guys are called the metacarpal what phalangeal joint. One, two, go. If you get this, this is everything, Baba.
But want to go. Call all the joints for me very fast. Let's go. The first one is the one we have here, right? That's the sternoclavicular joints. What about this guy here? Acromioclavicular joints. After that, your shoulder joints also called your glenohumeral joints. When you run down, this is the word elbow joints. Then we have what is called the proximal radio ulnar joints. Then we have the distal radio ulnar joints. The distal radio ulnar joints, when you leave the way will you come to? You come straight to the wrist joints or the what? The radiocarpal joints. Sure, you are seeing it now. Uh -huh. After the radiocarpal joints, we have what is called the intercarpal joints, right? Aside the intercarpal joints, what do we now have? We have the carpal metacarpal joints. The what? Carpal metacarpal joints. Then we now have the intermetacarpal joints. Aside the intermetacarpal joints, the next now is the what? There. Yeah. We now have your, your metacarpal phalangeal joints. So aside the metacarpal phalangeal joints, what do we have? We have the proximal what? Interphalangeal joints. Then we have the what? The distal interphalangeal joints. And the one in the term there is the interphalangeal what? Joints. Because there's no proximal or what? Distal. If you get this and you understand it, get out it too much. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Answer this question for me. Basso has Q and A. I just give you this one question. You drop the answer for me in the comment section. Let me see if you are correct. The Q and A question say, which joint of the upper limb is commonly referred to as the shoulder joint? I told you another name for the shoulder joint. Don't assume, sir. I know it is in my mind. Drop it for me in the Q and A section of the app or drop it in the comment section for me. Option A says elbow joint. Is elbow joint the answer? I don't know. Option B say glenohumera joint. Is glenohumera joint the answer? Ay, 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 ay. Is your radio on a joint the answer? Or is wrist joint the answer? Drop the answer for me now, 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 now. I see the hot in the comment section. And guess what? I'll see the answer and I'll tell you that you are correct or you are wrong. But please, very, very important. This is everything about the joints of the upper limb that you should know. A quick run through. We have not started treating all of them one by one. We're here. This is just overview of everything about the upper limb. Quick, quick. You get that very quickly. I'll see you in lesson four. But before I see you in lesson four, please go through my notes very well. Answer all the past questions that are there for you. And then go to the CBT part of the app. Keep practicing, practicing, practicing. Always tell your friend about the Learn Lift app. And guess what we're going to learn in lesson four? We're going to look at everything about the muscles of the upper limb. For the now, peace out. Hope you've enjoyed this class. Guess what? To follow up for more classes, just download the Learn Lift app, whether on Play Store or App Store and then follow up your classes you must do extremely well i'll see you in class bye bye